Hey everybody, it's John here, and in this video we're going to take a look at three ways that we can calculate the Pearson's correlation coefficient in Excel. So a correlation coefficient is just a way to statistically measure how related two variables are. So for example, here we have height and weight, and intuitively these things should be related, but the Pearson correlation coefficient is going to give us a way to measure that. So the mathematical formula of the Pearson's correlation coefficient can be seen right here. So we have to do some intermediate steps to calculate this from scratch in Excel. So you can see that we have to do things like take the average and then subtract each uh, data or the average from each data point and do some multiplication and adding, etc. So let's do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take the average of each variable and so let's find the average of our height and we're going to do the same thing with the average of our weight now that we've got those averages we can subtract those averages from each of our data points so let's subtract the height by our average height and for this one we're going to have to create an absolute reference for our average And then we can copy that down. So now we have each data point minus the average. And we're gonna do the same thing with the weight. So we're gonna take each weight and subtract off the average weight. And again, let's make an absolute reference for that average weight so that when we copy it down, it's still going to reference the average there After that, we've got to calculate the square of each of those differences. So we can do that pretty easily with the power function. So it just allows us to take a number and then raise it to a given power. So in this example, we're gonna be squaring our results. And again, we can copy that down and actually we can copy this over so that we're taking the square of the difference of our weights and then we can copy that one down now the next thing we need to do is calculate the product of these two things so that's pretty easy we can calculate a product for each of those now we've got all the components from our formula up here we can actually uh, sum those up. So here these sigma things mean that we need to sum up those items for all the uh, data. So we can take the sum of those for each of those columns here. And now we have everything we need to calculate the correlation. So the correlation is the sum of these products divided by the square root of the sum of difference of squares for each of our variables. And if we've done that correctly, we should get a, a number between zero and one. So zero means that we have something that's very unrelated and one or closer to one means that we have something that's very related. So 0.97 means that these height and weight variables are very related. Now that's a pretty long process, but thankfully Excel actually has a function that will do this for us. So the Corel function will calculate the Pearson's correlation coefficient for us. And it's pretty simple. So all we have to do is input both the arrays of values that we want to calculate our correlation coefficient for, and it's gonna give us our result. 
Another way that we can calculate the correlation coefficient is with the statistical add-in. So if we go to the file tab and options, and that's gonna open up Excel options, and we can go to add-ins, and under add-ins, we're gonna to go to Excel add-ins, so let's press go. And then you just wanna make sure that you enable analysis tool pack here. I've already got it enabled, so I can press okay. And once we've got that enabled, we can go to the data tab and you should see data analysis here. We can click on that and open it up. Now this comes with a lot of statistical calculations, but we do have a correlation calculation here. So let's select that and press OK. And then we need to supply the range of values that we want to calculate our correlation coefficient on. These are grouped into columns, so my data is in columns, as you can see. And the first row is labels for those columns, right? So they're not part of the data, it just labels for height and weight. And then we can choose where we want our output to go. So I'm gonna select a output in the current workbook or current worksheet right here and press OK. And that's gonna output this correlation matrix. So here we have height and weight and we can see the correlation for that. Now the correlation between height and height is exactly one. They should be perfectly related, same with weight and weight. Now this is not gonna be dynamic like our formulas are. So when we add or change data, they're not gonna update. We're gonna to have to rerun this data analysis tool pack to get updated results. But the good thing about this is that if you have multiple variables, you're going to get a matrix that calculates and shows all of the correlation coefficients for each combination of those variables. So that's three ways you can calculate the Pearson's correlation coefficient in Excel. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.